now let's uh, let's move on to NBA. Connor Mack. A few bets I made that that have since moved, but uh, but let's break it all down. First game on the card: Philly and the Knicks. Right. Philly won last game, 79-73, unfriggin' real. So here's the rematch. Knicks are a six-point favorite when I saw it. Now it's uh, – well, the total was like 209 or so. Um, I don't know, man. I, 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 I guess both these teams before the last game were pretty awful ATS. I guess you would think this has uh, Knicks money line at least, first half full game written all over it. You got anything on this one? Yeah, I do. I think how do you not – Want to take the Knicks here. Looks like uh, Mm -hmm. OG is back with the news with him. I like that. Kind of been struggling, Pete, the Knicks defensively with him gone. uh, They kind of went on that losing streak. They began with a bunch more points a game, except for that last one, you know, where these teams just played 79-73. That's old time. uh, Yeah. 90s (laughs) right there. Old New York Knicks in that one. Hell yeah. And we have a low total here. I'd like to go back to it. These back to backs, the second game unders always is a good look. I think the numbers right here though, on, on the total in this game, I looked at the Knicks first half. I wanted two and a half. I can't find one. Pete, I think three is good. Maxi's back here for the Sixers. Uh, just the classic spot. I think the Knicks haven't gone anywhere. They're at home uh, with him back, bring some levity, to their defense. I think the place is rocking early. Knicks first half. Okay, let's uh, let me see what uh, you want to quote a, quote a, quote a line there. I'm seeing a pinnacle. Yeah, uh, I got. My- you could give uh, three minus one eleven pinnacle. Yeah, I think I can get minus one ten, but yeah, we can give we can give you minus one ten. Knicks first half minus three minus uh, one ten seems one ten right? Circa. Obvious, right? Let's I look like at the it. comment section. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, other comments, comments, comments coming in. Uh, BJ is NBA best bet. Sacramento Kings money line plus 105 units. I will uh, copy and paste that. Of course, the Ron Crawford spreadsheet play of the day is is OKC. Yeah. I want to take Knicks first half too, but for right now, I'm going to hold off. But again, I might add that one on uh, at the end. Come of, on, Pete. At the end, at the end of the show, <laughs> I just want to think about it for a second. Next game on the guard: Washington, Memphis. Right, Washington. Off of two impressive straight up and ATS wins, Memphis off the blowout loss at uh, at OKC. I have no real clue as of right now. My first thought was maybe lean under despite the low total at at, at two eighteen and a half. Now it's up to two nineteen. Washington's up to minus three now. Pass for me unless I hear something that makes me like some Washington at Memphis. What do you think, Connor? Well, it's, I mean, who's going to play for this Memphis team? I mean, this yeah. is uh, the mash unit here and the biggest i always key he's not in is jaron jackson jr i want him in to back the grizz you know they didn't get it done that horrible fourth quarter i had them against the hawks pete a few days ago Mm -hmm. uh i mean they lost by like seven i had them plus three uh, at home wizards has been better wizards have beat them the last couple you know i was looking at a prop in this game just because you know he's going to shoot a ton is kyle kuzma his points or his points and rebounds if you get a 32 and a half, uh, he should get there. One thing, these teams, the Wizards, you think are over, played a little bit more unders. They just beat the Heat in that last game uh, and the Hornets before that. But Memphis, this team hasn't, you know, got any, broke 109 here, Pete, in eight, nine games. Their team total is 109 and a half. I was looking at that this morning. Uh, can the Grizzlies get to 110? I just worry this gets into a, a sloppy offensive game. The Wizards kind of can go to, uh, mm-hmm. but man, they with wh- whoever's playing, you know, t- t- for this for this team right now. Uh, I was looking heavy at that team total under one one oh nine, Chris. Yeah, that is that is tempting as well. I got to think about. They're still it slow. Bit, yeah, play good yeah. defense. I mean, it's just who's in there. And the flip side, the Wizards still are horrible defensively. You know, or like seems like they're twenty five or worse in almost every category. <laughs> In a ton of them, you know, so, defensively. So then why why has the total gotten gone up? That that's that's what makes me nervous. Yeah, I don't. I mean, maybe I think it was a little bit too low. I mean, that's a low low total here in the NBA. Unders have been coming in as of late. Yeah, I, I yeah I've noticed that it's gone up a couple points. Mm, all right, I a might point, take the point under. And a half. Yeah. 
All right, we'll glance at the, at the comments section. No one in the comment section as of right now. Next game, Indiana OKC. Uh, OKC, when I first looked at it, was minus six, and uh, 235 and a half was the total. And I like the over at 235 and a half. Now it's gone bet way up to 240. Some people are saying they still like it. OKC, of course, crushed Memphis last game. Indiana off the blowout win at Orlando. They've been very under trending recently. And OKC. Uh, minus seven is the uh, spreadsheet play of the day from Ron Crawford in NBA. Uh, you know, I would still be leaning OKC, and I guess I would still be liking the over even at 240. Let's see where that line is uh, right now. Wow, 241. Holy crap. I don't know if I can give that. Definitely like it at 235 and a half, though. Yeah, me too, Pete. This, I think this has gone in the, the right direction, but we're getting up here uh, now. This is one. I think people are putting in the chat. I think OG goes from everything I've heard. I know it's still not official official, but everything I've heard, he's going to be in today. So he's got to be in, yeah, for me to play. If he's not, you know, that's a that's a void for me. Williams, he's questionable with the ankle. I know he uh, rolled that or whatever the other night, uh, which I don't love. This was six and a half. So it's all at sixes now. Uh, maybe he doesn't go here. Pete, we know both these teams. Mm -hmm. Excellent offensively, top five efficient. He's one of the faster paced teams in the league. So I get it. I like the over. I think we're getting a little high now. And uh, I look the other way. I think the Pacers can hang around. I know OKC is really good at home, but uh, I was kind of leaning Pacers. This is the game I, I'm not going to bet, but uh, that was my lean. But you don't you don't like the over? Or maybe, what about the yeah. OKC team total? Over? Yeah, go ahead. I, I, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's just tough to now at, at 140, 141. I mean, 241. The OKC team total is uh, is 123 and a half. That's a little high, but I still I still think I like it. I think I'm going to make uh, maybe I'll just give the the, the first half uh, team total over as my official play here for uh, for OKC. Yeah. I definitely like the overs in one way or another. And, uh, you know, I usually get burned when I try to get too cute, giving like a first half team total over or something like that. But I think I'm going to yeah. do it. Uh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah. No, then I'm just in the end. Like we were talking about, I just can't bet this. You know, Pacers have been a little bit better defensively. They're still not very good, you know, and they the, the Thunder should get what they want against them in this one. So right. That's why I agree with the movement, the five points. Yeah. Right. I'll make that an official play. I'll take the OKC. Uh, First half team total over 61 and a half currently at Pinnacle. I also like, you know, the first half over and the OKC full game team total over, but I'll just make a one play for now. OKC first half team total over 61 and a half minus 104. That's the, uh, the current line at Pinnacle. And I'll make that um, an official play. And you know what? I think I'm going to add on uh, a halftime play for, for college, uh, for college basketball, Connor Mack. I can yeah, I can add on to my official record if it's if it's a halftime uh, play that's in the middle of a show, right? Hell yeah, absolutely. All right, Oklahoma State. I'm going to take it. Uh, second half plus one and a half or plus five and a half uh, for the for the full game spread. I'm going to make that an official play. Oklahoma State second half plus one and a half. It's market line current line at uh, at uh, Bet Online is plus one and a half. Places that use the full game line plus five and a half minus one ten. Official play. Oklahoma State, second half, plus one and a half. Adding that on to my, uh, my slate of, uh, of plays here. Let me just uh, quickly uh, get my bet in here. Let me just do that. Okay. And then uh, let's move on. Houston and the Spurs, next game, NBA. Houston rolling, of course, six straight covers, right? But the Spurs are, are, are doing okay as well. And, again, this is another one. The total was 222 and a half. I like the over. And uh, let's see where the line now. Line is at 222, so line has moved down a bit. Uh, I think I saw that that Houston went up to like five or so. Now they're back down to four. So this is a tough one. I'd be leaning over. Interesting situation and interesting line movement. What do you think, Connor Mack? Yeah, Houston here. Um, Shin Goon out, obviously. I mean, he's done basically for the year. Now, I cannot back this Rockets team here. <laughs> no way all the road laying points at all. They've been god awful. Now, can you take the Spurs? I don't know. Wimby here. I think his props are good uh, in this game if you like it. I was leaning heavy here to the Spurs 
It is. I think this is a gettable game for them at home. You talked about it. These teams have gone over, Pete, when they get together. It just seems like yeah. there's points. No matter how they're playing, they just get a shit ton of points. It's always been a good matchup, too. The one earlier in the year, Rockets 104-101. Yeah, they won both of them. Those were at home, though, for the Rockets. Yeah, I just – is four enough? San, the Spurs just got – you know, what they lose last night by eight to the Warriors. Some people I know like them. Uh, I can't, yeah, maybe go first half, tops it just for first quarter. I think that might be a decent look here with the Spurs. They have kind of folded late uh, defensively. But you know what? One thing, Pete, for yesterday, I thought they played well. You know, that, that two-game quick homestand they had, they beat the Thunder uh, and the Pacers. You know, then they go and lose – of the couple after that, and then just drop the Golden State. So I think the spot here, Spurs, just still have the balls. Here, Pete. <laughs> you think the spot is the Spurs, huh? Yes. Hmm. But you don't necessarily like the over, or you do a little bit. No. Yeah, I do. I think this is a little too low. I get it with the Rockets, but I lean over. Yeah, this is weird. I'm going to hold off. Total pass for me. Weird game. All right, next game on the card, Boston and Utah. Boston on a back-to-back roll, Portland, last night, right? One and cover their last two on the road trip. First two on the road trip, uh, they lost straight up in ATS. Utah blown out at Denver last game, covered three in a row before that. No real clue here, except I was thinking about the under, 230 and a half. It's probably moved. No, it's still there, 230 and a half. I'm thinking about the under in this one, Celtics, Utah. Yeah, I get it. I talk about it all the time. You know, it happened last night, Pete, in that game versus the Blazers. Celtics get 115, 120, hold these teams down to 100, 105, something like that, keeps the game and stays under. I think this is the this is the the kind of the letdown. I've been on the Jazz a ton. I haven't been on them much lately. I was on that game, the Bulls, and they just covered. They had a huge fourth quarter, I believe, uh, to cover that game. Uh, they come right back and lose. They got blown out at Denver. This Boston's been on this trip here. What's their this fifth straight game on the road? You know, they lose at Cleveland, Denver. Then they get back-to-back wins at Phoenix and Portland. On a back-to-back, go to Salt Lake City. Give me the plus seven on the Jazz here. You know, mm-hmm. Maybe the Celtics win this game, but I think the Jazz are in it. This is where I want them here at the house. Yeah. I was thinking about the under as well. What do you think about that? Is that like ill-advised? What do you think? I don't mind it. I just, the one thing is if the Jazz just want to get up and go and how tired are, are the Celtics going to be on this back-to-back and how much are they going to be into the game? Like they're head on straight a game. We know how good they are defensively, but Maybe maybe this gets all out of control. We get some points. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll make it official. Uh, a bunch of places right. have two thirty. Pinnacle Pinnacle has two thirty one. So I'll take the Boston Utah under two thirty one minus one ten. Two thirty one minus one ten. Current line of Pinnacle. That's a tricky one, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, people. Uh, yeah, top set says Jazz spot. I would agree with that. Ron Crawford says Utah home dog no brainer. Yeah. I mean, I was leaning that way. Smoking Tree says, I ain't trusting the Jazz to cover shit. Top set likes Jazz team total over. Okay. Uh, Tough one. Oh, wait, Celtics our- playing a lot on the road. This is, I think this is, even if they get the win, they got to win by eight. Mm. Man, I got to be on the Jazz. The jazz. Oh, man. If this Davidson Fordham game goes into OT, I'm going to fucking uh, go outside and take out my anger on innocent people. Unreal. I've had some bad ones, Pete. I, all year long, I didn't have a ton. And last week, I had a couple rough ones. Yeah. Dead unders. OT. I just take, I just take it out on, on innocent people or animals, and then I feel fine. Thank Jesus you, Christ. Christ. No, I'm kidding around. That's a joke. That's a joke. I would never do that. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Minnesota Clippers, right? Minnesota lost the Lakers by margin in their last game. Now they've lost seven out of eight ATS. Absolutely uh, tanking ATS. Clippers been decent, right? ATS, last bunch of games, a bunch of wins and a bunch of close ATS losses. So 
you know, in current form, you would think Clippers minus all those points is uh, is the way to go. And my first thought was maybe over uh, the, the the total I saw, which was uh, which was two fifteen. Still there at two fifteen and six and a half. I don't know. I guess I'd be leaning over. I don't know. What do you think, Connor Mack? Yeah, it's just gotten low enough. But both these teams, for the most part, full health ago, Pete. I want the under with them. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, mm-hmm. I'm surprised this is this is dropped. This is all the weight in this game. We can be pretty quick uh, with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George if they're in or not. You know, they're in. I think you lay it. Minnesota's just going through a rough time. I mean, Edwards is questionable. The ankle, I think he goes. So's Gobert. We all know Carl Anthony Towns is with him out. It's just been rough. You mentioned they've just they were so good to start the year. I mean, the record's still great, uh, but you mentioned ATS is kind of floundered here the last 10 it's been a struggle especially the last seven so those are in i'd lay it with the clippers okay i hope you cash i'm gonna pass and then the last game on the card is milwaukee at uh, at sacramento milwaukee uh, beat the clippers last game they've been doing well covered seven and nine sacramento lost as a home fave uh, in their last game straight up they're off of a couple of margin ats losses in general they've been pretty crappy uh, ATS and uh, again Milwaukee kind of you know uh, Milwaukee opened as um as a small dog and now I believe that yeah now that now they flipped to uh, to about a one point road favorite total hasn't really moved about two thirty five and a half and I I saw someone earlier in the show say they like Sacramento as like their best play of the day or something like that wow uh, my thought was Milwaukee but but maybe not mm-hmm. what do you think Connor. Yeah, are you are you basically you're hoping the Kings get over it and actually beat this team because they just have it. You know, Bucks have just beat them up the last couple of years, uh, ten straight. Beat. That's why I'm not loving this right now. Is the total over? Spoke Tree put it in there. These two teams. I know the Bucks since the coaching change have been better defensively. Have played a couple more unders, but the Kings. They want to get up and down. They're not great defensively. Mm-hmm. I have to take the over. A lot of money's on the over, and it hasn't moved. Pete. And it seems like I got yeah. bargain at 235. That's why it's a little bit of a head scratcher. But yeah. 10 and 0 to the over, the last 10 they played too. Bucks have all won them, all the over. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I had a piece. I'm on the over here. I'm going to stay off the side. I'm leaning under just because of what you said, Connor Mack. Of course. And yeah. On paper, it I get screams it. over. You know what I mean? Pace then then maybe this is a up. up. Yeah. You know? No, exactly. And no, and this is a playoff type game. I just, one thing that's been consistent is the Kings. Seems like they just don't play much defense and they can score. And Bucks don't mind playing that way. Like I mentioned, they've gone to the under a little bit more lately and more defense. And maybe it does. I just, uh, I get your, I get the reason. You know, with this, but uh, to me, it's just over a pass. Mike M with another quote. Man, if Mike M and Ron Crawford loving the Jazz, and it just seems so obvious. It's just so hard to bet against Boston, but that's why the line is where it is. We should, we should, exactly. we should tail it. We should tail it. Tail. We what? should absolutely tail. It. Tail what? I'm sorry. Tail what? Utah. Utah. I'm already yeah. on it. You know, are you not listening to the show? Are we doing a same oh, show? No, yet? no, no, I know I am. No, I <laughs> what the me. fuck are we talking about? No, me means me means my syndicate. The, the syndicate of people oh, okay. that I that I operate with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I will I think I will tail it. Uh BJ loves the Kings. Bad spot for Milwaukee. Andrew G both play fast. Smoking tree on the over. Wow, that's really crazy. All right. Well, that does it for uh, for NBA. Let's quickly review our picks, Connor Mack. I have only two official plays so far. OKC first half team total over 61 and a half minus 104 and Boston, Utah under 231 minus 110. Uh, but OKC minus seven is the spreadsheet play of the day. And everyone, everyone who's anyone is like in Utah, plus a bunch of points against Boston tonight. Connor Mack, review your official plays, please. Yeah. OG's in. Knicks first half, minus three. I got that, minus 108. Jazz, plus seven, minus 110. Jazz mm-hmm. at home. Mm-hmm. I'm on it. And Bucks, Sacramento, over 235. Just a play I had to make. This is like you say, Pete, if it loses, it's just one play. Yeah. 
It's just one unit. All right. And the two leans, Spurs, we talked about. And I, I just missed the boat on Indiana OKC. I think that game gets over. Yeah, I, I think so, too. And I'll tell you what I what I will add on here. Uh, where the heck is it? Where the heck is it? I'm looking for the – okay. I don't quite have the balls yet to uh, to take Utah plus seven, even though I'm sure that that is, uh, is, is the right side. But I will add on Boston team total under. 118 and a half minus 102 is the current line at Pinnacle. Let me see what uh, what Heritage can uh, can give me. Kind of liking the under here, and um, I'll add on the Boston team total under. Let me just see what uh, what the line is. I'll quote you a line. Yeah, 119 and a half minus 119. That's no good. I'll take um, I'll take 118 and a half minus 102. Boston team total under 118 and a half minus 102 as another official play for me in the NBA. Man, what a great show, Connor Mack. Had a great time. Yeah. Then we're going to be at uh, at uh, Pubba Palooza, right, in just eight days. So we got one more show. Yeah. And then Pubba Palooza. One more show. 